Christmas Omnipresent by Lee Hunt Read in English This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Christmas comes, he comes, he comes, ushered with a rain of plums. Hollies in the windows greet him. Schools come driving post to meet him. Gifts precede him, bells proclaim him. Every mouth delights to name him. Wet and cold and wind and dark, make him but the warmer mark. And yet he comes, not one embodied, universals the blithe godhead. And in every festal house, presence hath ubiquitous. Curtains, though snug room in folders, hang upon his million shoulders. And he has a million eyes, a fire, and eats a million pies. And is very merry and wise, very wise and very merry, and loves a kiss beneath the berry. Then full many a shape hath he, all in said ubiquity. Now is he a green array, and now an eve, and now a day. Now he's town, gone out of town, and now a feast in civic gown. And now the pantomime, and clown, with a crack upon the crown, and all sorts of tumbles down. And then he's music in the night, and the money gotten by it. He's a man that can't write verses, bringing some to ope your purses. He's a turkey, he's a goose, he's oranges unfit for use. He's a kiss that loves to grow, underneath the mistletoe. And he's forfeits, cards and wassails, and a king and queen with vassals. All the quizzes of the time, drawn and quartered with a rhyme. And then, for their revival's sake, lo, he's an enormous cake with the sugar on the top, seen before in many a shop, where the boys could gaze forever. They think the cake so very clever. Then some morning, in the lurch, leaving romps, he goes to church, looking very grave and thankful, after which he's just as prankful. Now a saint, and now a sinner, but, above all, he's a dinner. He's a dinner where you see everybody's family. Beef and pudding and mince pies and little boys with laughing eyes, whom their seniors ask arch questions, feigning fears of indigestions, as if they, forsooth the old ones, hadn't privately tenfold ones. He's a dinner and a fire, heaped beyond your heart's desire, heaped with log and baked with coals, till it roasts your very souls and your cheek the fire outstairs, and you all push back your chairs, and the mirth becomes too great, and you all sit up too late, nodding all with too much head, and so go off to too much bed. O plethora of beef and bliss, monkish feaster, sly of kiss, southern soul in body dutch, glorious time of great too much, too much heat and too much noise, too much babblement of boys, too much eating, too much drinking, too much everything but thinking, solely bent to laugh and stuff, and trample upon base enough. O oh, right is thy instructive praise of the wealth of nature's ways. Write thy most unthrifty glee, and pious thy mince piety. For, behold, great nature's self builds her no abstemious shelf, but provides, her love is such for all, her own great good too much, too much grass and too much tree, too much air and land and sea, too much seed of fruit and flower, and fish, an unimagined dower, in whose single row shall be, life enough to stock the sea, endless ichthyophagy, every instant through the day, worlds of life are thrown away, Worlds of life and worlds of pleasure, not for lavishment of treasure, but because she's so immensely rich and loves us so intensely, she would have us, once for all, wake at her benignant call, and all grow wise and all lay down, strife and jealousy and frown, and, like the sons of one great mother, share and be blessed with one another. 
End of Christmas Omnipresent by Lee Hunt Read by Lucy Perry In Bath On November 26, 2014